From deal breakers and deal makers to nitpicks and personal preference, here's six things I like and dislike about the DJI Mavic Mini, my first drone. Number one, intuitive controls. This is my first drone, so I was surprised at how easy it is to pick up and fly, which is a compliment to design and software as a whole. The default control setting was mode two, but I quickly switched to mode three because it handled similar to a first person shooter, which to me was easier. The joysticks are a good size and very precise. Same with the camera wheel. Within the first hour of flying, I was comfortable controlling the drone's direction and altitude, even around obstacles. And within the first two hours, framing shots using the camera wheel while flying was easy as well. It's no wonder why the drone is so popular. Number two, exposed memory card slot. I was disappointed to see the memory card slot was uncovered. With something like a drone that's exposed to dust, pollen, and light moisture on a regular basis, I wish DJI would have covered these ports. Sure, it would have put the weight over the special 249 grams, but the memory card slot is not where you should choose to skimp on materials. Number three, featherweight. The size and weight of this drone is the obvious selling point, but up until this point, I had only seen a DJI Phantom 3 in person, so opening up the Mavic Mini was a shocker. It really is insanely portable, though it does feel a bit delicate. I've walked around all day with it, as well as put it in a backpack on a bike ride. The weight is barely noticeable. The large size of older DJI drones was the main reason I didn't purchase any in the past, but I'm happy to say that the Mini actually encouraged me to take it places to shoot. Number four, small phone holder. This is my biggest gripe on the list. The controller's phone holder is just too small in multiple ways. For reference, I own a Google Pixel 3a with a case, which is smaller than an iPhone, let alone the larger versions. The phone does fit, but just barely. The clamps open barely wide enough to fit the phone, so it's a bit finicky to set up, especially when connecting the cable. The worst part is that the clamps are very narrow and designed to fit a phone without a case. I'd say the majority of people use phone cases, so not making the clamps wider or including adjustable inserts is a large oversight on DJI's part. Number five, short range on quick shot modes. One of the coolest features to use are the quick shot modes. However, I wish these modes had a larger max range, which is currently only 40 meters. For reference, the max height range of the drone out of the box is 120 meters and can be adjusted even further. I think this can be fixed in a firmware update, but a longer range would be beneficial, especially for the droney and rocket shots, which put the drone in a safer linear flight path. And number six, micro USB. Really? This drone released in 2019. Why is micro USB still a thing? Both the drone and the controller have it, and it's just a bummer all around. Can't we just kill micro USB once and for all? I really wish the ports were USB-C. And there you have it, six things I like and dislike about the Mavic Mini. There were mostly dislikes, but that doesn't reflect how much fun I have flying this thing, save for a small crash or two. I try to take it everywhere and it's been so much fun seeing things from a different perspective. If you liked the video or thought I missed something, please leave a comment below and thanks for watching.